Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you my process video for this month's Gypsy and Witch project. Our theme was Halloween or Samhain, and I chose to create a mixed media assemblage collage using elements from my junk drawer, things I've received in Happy Mail, and a focal image that was given to me by none other than our Gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie. I had a blast doing this. I hope you guys enjoy my process. Stick around, let me know what you think, and after you're done watching this video, make sure you check out Miss Rita Marie's channel, as well as all the links below. I'd love to see you over at our Facebook group, The Gypsy and the Witch. So stick around, I'll show you how I did it. Okay guys, let's get started. I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using and just keep in mind that this is a process video and not a tutorial. So every one of these is different and yours will be different too, but I'm just going to show you what I like to use. And the first and most important thing is a glue gun. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of adhesive in this project. Please be careful, these get super hot. Um, I like to work with these with wooden chopsticks to hold things down. You can also use like a silicone spatula. Just be careful. Um, I have some extra long glue sticks so I don't have to change them out as quickly. And I also like to use this little glue pot. Uh, it just plugs in and this glue, you can melt a glue stick in here and it's easy to dip items in uh, to apply them. And I also have uh, some E6000 glue. This stuff is super strong. Uh, it's also super toxic. So please make sure you do all your work in a well ventilated area. You know, use precautions with any project you undertake, especially if you're working with children. Uh, this Gorilla Glue also is so strong. Um, it will glue your fingers together more than crazy glue, more than anything. So if you're using this, uh, use it with some gloves. So adhesive is a huge part of this project and I also use hot glue to make texture and things like that. So the next thing uh, I am going to be using some black spray paint as well as some uh, acrylic paint and you can use gesso, you know, all kinds of things. So this will be actually the first time I'm using spray paint in one of my collages. I normally use acrylic paint in the past. So, the first thing we're going to need, other than all of that, is a base to build upon. And I love to use wooden trays. I always keep my eyes open when I go to garage sales and thrift stores, and I will pick these up very cheaply. I've also used picture frames. I've used the insides of wooden boxes. Uh, you want something that's fairly sturdy. This has about a two inch lip here, two and a half that I could play with. Um, and I will be, you know, covering up and painting the sides. And just That's actually gonna be the first step. I'm gonna go over this with a coat of this um, black satin spray paint and just make everything all uniform looking. So once you have your base prepped, the sky's the limit, but I like to first add in texture, um, and I will be doing that with a variety of things. I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm going to be working with, um, and yeah, so I love to use cardboard, and I'll rip up, you know, and expose all these little corrugated edges, so we'll be gluing down some of that. Um, I have a bag of got various gauzes and onion skin bags. Uh, be careful with, you know, any kind of plastic thing. It will melt with your heat gun. I have bandages in here, gauze, burlap, uh, anything that will give you some texture. Okay, so I'd love to do that. Lay those kind of bases down. And then, like I said before, you guys, the sky is the limit. I will be using probably some modeling paste, some texture gel. Um, I have, what else for texture? Eggshells, 
Um, these were from my mother's chickens. So they add wonderful texture too. You can, you know, put them in with your paste and things like that. So that, and then I'm just going to show you some of the things I'm working with. This is a box of junk, if you will, that I save in my junk drawer. And this is an assortment of things I've gotten and that I save bottle caps and old jewelry and all kinds of things, you guys. Things you would find in a junk drawer and I just save them up. Pieces of screen, you know, anything. And I'm like, oh, I could use that in a collage one day, you know? So when this gets full, I know it's time to make a mixed media collage. Look at this funky pair of scissors. I've had this for like 30 years thinking, you know, my grandkids are going to play with them. I'm going to throw it in a collage. That kind of stuff. I also have, a lot of this stuff is in bags, so sorry for the glare, but these are fuses. My boyfriend Tom does amp repairs and things like that, and so there's always a lot of these fuses laying around. Adds a nice steampunk look. I save bottle caps, pop tabs. People have given them to me. Those are cool. I also have a bag of embellishments that I've received in Happy Mail. Um, and these are die cuts, wooden die cuts, all kinds of shapes and things to add dimension to our project. Uh, as well as I have some of these acrylic embellishments too. Again, sorry for the glare, you guys. You'll see these more uh, as I'm working with them on the project. So just anything you can think of. Um, I got these metal wooden heart, uh, metal hearts at a garage sale, so I may stick a couple of them on. Just I like to think dimension and texture. Um, so let your imagination go wild. I also have some clock parts and watch parts with gears and things like that. Um, you know, on and on and on. And I also love at the end to sometimes use Scrabble letters. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. But I think we're going with a Halloween theme. And I do have some old um, Halloween stuff too, like some skeletons and bats, plastic, things like that. Um, as well as, like, I have these uh, metal embellishments and old jewelry. You know, again, things I've picked up at thrift stores. Charms I've made out of polymer clay. Bills. You get the idea, right? So... The first thing, like I said, and I'm going to have to do this outside, I'm going to give this a good coat of some black spray paint, let it dry, and then I'll come back and we'll start adding some layers. coat of the black spray paint, and we're going to be covering it all up anyway. I've plugged in my glue gun, and I've ripped up some cardboard, and I have, look, I have all of this mess of stuff okay this is what i'm going to be laying down first some burlap some of those onion bags um some black gauze here's a piece of like scrubbing sponge bandage you know cheesecloth stuff all right i may use all of it i may not but we'll see um i have some chopsticks to help me with my glue gun and i'm just going to kind of show you um, you know, a piece or two, and then I'll come back and I'll show you as I go along, if that makes any sense, because these things take hours to complete, and, you know, we're, I'm just going to give you an idea. So I'm just going to lay down some glue, doesn't, I don't care, you know, where it goes, that's part of my texture, be very careful, taking some cardboard, and I'm just going to kind of press it down okay and we'll intersperse that with no I'm just going intuitively you guys I have no idea um, I did pull out a focal image that I may use so I'm probably going to have that kind of in the center uh, I'll show you that as we go along but I'm not sure yet 
So I'll be kind of mindful of that, but I'm just going to fill up the space all around, including the inside edges uh, all the way around as well. Okay, so let me finish doing that, and I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I just wanted to give you a little update. Um, I've pretty much decided that I'm done with laying down the base here. And you can see that I've covered every surface, the inside lips of the frame. Um, and I just used exactly what I said, the cardboard, some burlap, gauze, a couple of the onion bags. And I cut that piece of sponge up. It's really like stiff and textury. So I want to use some eggshells next. And I found these I had as well. They've already been colored. And I'm just going to randomly, and I'll show you an example, just kind of fill in some spaces with some eggshell as well. Um, and I've been using my chopsticks here to just press into the glue. And again, be careful, it's super hot. Okay, so I'm going to go around the page and do a few more spots of that. And then I'll show you that, and then we're going to spray paint it again. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, just random. It's all going to get changed with the, you know, color, and it'll be monochrome, and then we'll bring out textures. It's going to be fun. So... Right now, I'm going to spray paint this again. I'm going to do one coat over everything, and then when that's dry, we'll come back and I'll show you the focal image and start placing things down. So, see you when the paint's dry. Okay, guys, what do you think? I'm starting to fall in love with it. That spray paint is just magical, and... Honestly, I really like it a lot better than using the acrylic paint that I have been using um, because the acrylic paint is so much thicker, you know, but this is just amazing texture. So now the fun part really begins here. Um, you can see this is already transformed and at each stage along the way, I just hate to cover things up, but I'm going to take a deep breath and dive in. And I told you I've uh, decided on a focal image, and in keeping with the Halloween theme, I'm going to use this card that I got in some happy mail last year from my gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie. So I thought this would be fitting for our Gypsy and Witch project this year, and I'm going to use that. And I also found this little card, which came from um, some Graphic 45 paper. So I may incorporate that as well. But what I've done is cut out a piece of black paper uh, the same size as the card. And when I decide where I want to place the image, I'll use this paper as a stand-in so I don't, so I leave enough room to add it because I'm going to want to add this later. Um, I may take off this white edge or darken it up a little bit. Not sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. So also, in addition to the focal image, and in addition to all the other embellishments I showed you, I did grab my little Halloween stash of goodies. Um, these are various things I've gotten at dollar stores along the way. This was um, a little, like one of those swinging things that are activated by the sunlight, and it fell apart. I took it apart. This came off something else. Spider rings, skeletons, bugs, um, big spiders, you know, all kinds of things like that, which I'll add in with the other embellishments we have. And I may spook it up a little more, I'm not sure. I found uh, a cool skeleton key. I had gotten this at the auction. This is nice heavy duty metal. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'll incorporate that. So, again, I'm not going to show you uh, me doing this because I do it intuitively and it's over a long period of time, you guys. It takes me hours to 
to get these um, collages done. But I'm going to use my glue gun. I'll probably use some of the uh, modeling paste that I was showing you before just for added texture. And I'm just going to place things down. I, I have many more embellishments than the size of this tray. Uh, this tray looks to be about, I don't know, maybe 18 inches by 10 inches or something. It's not that big, um, but I can cram a lot of stuff into a small space. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start gluing things down, and I will definitely uh, show you before I you know, cover anything up again. But I'll keep you posted along the way and see you back here when there's a lot more to look at. Okay, guys, I don't know if you're ready for this. I was up all night gluing and collaging, and I am in love with it. What do you think? It's a lot to take in. I'll give you a minute. Um, yeah. The vocal image and the Scrabble letters are not put down yet. Um, I just wanted you to get an idea of where I'm going. And also, when this is all done, I am, I think, I'll be adding in some, like, spiders. And I have a broom here that we may incorporate. But for these will be extra. I'm not going to do an overcoat. So this is always a hard part for me because... The next step, we are going to totally cover this up again. I'm going to put a coat of black spray paint over everything, with the exception of uh, this. Okay. And I may, I have two sets of these boo letters, so I'm going to try to see, I will spray paint one set and see how that looks. If I want to use it that way, or if I don't like how that turns out, I can always just use the original boo. Um, I also tried, I love to use Scrabble letters, and I know a lot of you guys do. I thought about using that and that, uh, but it was a little, for, for me, I thought it was a little bit too much, and I didn't want to really cover up some of these really super cool uh, embellishments. A lot of these I've received in Happy Mail. Um, I even found this little mini book and it's a locket and that came from an auction hall but I thought it looked like a little book of shadows and I don't know what do you think guys? I had a lot of fun doing this. Here's some chess pieces that look like castles and you know I gotta have a lot of gears and clocks and stuff. Uh, this up here, the sun, was a the inside of a Physician's Formula bronzer makeup mirror. Um, I actually used the mirror in the Sun and Moon to, um, Palmer Clay video I did. And buttons and Mr. Skeleton and some die cutouts and beads and bats. Um, the snakes. So all of this will, this was a big uh, earring back here that I had gotten uh, at a garage sale, it's a polymer clay compass, some marbles. Um, this face up here came from uh, Lynn, from Lynn's Crafts, sent me that moon face. And so much uh, love here. There's a feather from one of my mother's chickens. Uh, yeah, plastic bats. You get the idea, right? So this is where I took it, you guys. And a spiral. Because we're all dancing the spiral dance. I chose not to use this. I tried to play around with, you know, oh, I could have it on the edge or something. But have to remember that I'm going probably to be showing this or storing, you know, keeping it on its edge or on the wall. Um which, depending on how you want to store it, I will probably have this on a shelf or something, but you can just add standard uh, picture hanging hardware to the back if you want, or even um, on the, you could put some eye screws here and here, or in the back, um, and use some strong wire between them to hang it, but it's going to be heavy. 
So I'm excited about it. I really, and again, I love this stage. And I'm always like, oh, I don't want to cover it up. It's so scary to do that. But you got to just face the fear and do it anyway or not. But I'm going to do that. So the next step will be to spray paint this. I'm going to use that black satin spray paint. Um, I love it. And when that's nice and dry, I'll come back and show you. And again, obviously I'm not spray painting this. And we'll try the Scrabble letters both ways. So I'll see you back here when that's done. Okay guys, I don't know if you're ready. This is dry. I let it dry overnight. And I told you, this is the scary part, okay? Um, I love each stage of these creations because, I don't know, they just appeal to me each step of the way. I like when you can see all the color, and then I like when it becomes this monochrome where you just really are looking at texture. So, we are not done yet, and the next step that I'm going to do is to break out some of my embellishment waxes. Um, I'll show you a couple. Just wanted to give you the whole the whole picture here. Um, I did also, like I said, I spray painted the boo, and I think I may be able to bring out these letters with some of these waxes I'm going to show you. Um, but if not, we can go back to the old boo. Um, may like the contrast there too. I also spray painted the spiders to kind of make them, this guy was super sparkly um, and this guy looks a little better now with some paint on him. It really does great on plastic, I'm loving this spray paint. And I did spray the broom too, probably because I said I wasn't going to, so I did. And this may just kind of lay as a prop somewhere or I may not use it at all, we'll see. And as far as our beautiful focal image, uh, the only thing I did to that was I went around the edges with some um, black Stazon ink. And again, we'll get that to fit in there really nicely. So that will go in last, as well as the broom and the spiders and the boo. And right now, um, I'm, I'll show you briefly how I'm going to do this and then once again I apologize but I'm going to continue off camera each stage takes me hours you guys so uh, I am going to let me show you what I got. <coughs> Excuse me. one of my favorite things to use is this antique gold rub and buff and this is a wax embellishment paste and a little bit goes a very long way okay and you can either use this you know with your finger or a brush or something and I'll show you how I'm going to use that I normally in the past have stuck with I predominantly do like the browns and blacks when I do these collages and the gold I am going to do that wow the lighting is just so bright here but I'm also going to I think come in with some of this amazing this is nouveau embellishment mousse and look at that purple you guys i got this in some happy mail also and i may just do a few touches uh, not all over i'm going to use this very sparingly and i also have some deco art metallic luster in silver and copper kettle and I just kind of added a little misting of water to this they do dry out a little bit so let me just show you an example oh and also I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not these are mica powders and these happen to be pearl X pigments um, but there are perfect pearls you can use um, powdered eyeshadows I'm not sure if I'm going to use these, but same thing. You kind of lightly dust around. 
<coughs> and they bring out the texture. Excuse me. So they're really nice. Um, and we will be sealing this whole project. So anything we put on will be sealed. But let me just show you an example of how we're going to bring out some great texture. I'll just go in with the rub and buff. And I'm going to use a little brush for right now. Um, a little dab will do you, I'm telling you. And better to err on, you know, being cautious with this stuff and just go in very lightly than to go in with a heavy hand at the beginning. Uh, because even though you can kind of buff it out, let's see, let's just kind of bring out some gears. And this is when the magic happens. All these textures will start to come together. And turn into something really special. Okay, so I am going to go around this whole project back and forth. I'm probably going to use all of the colors I just showed you. And we are going to bring these colors back out. And I am going to try to fix the lighting so I can show that to you better. So let me continue with that. And I'll come back and I'll show you where we're at. We're almost done, guys. Okay guys, what do you think? I'm starting to really love it. Um, I went over everything that I wanted to and I used the silver deco art. I used the copper kettle. I used some of this. This stuff is great. Just a little bit. And I used the rub and buff, just like I said. The only mica powder that I used, I used the black, Pro X black. And I just kind of dusted it over everything when I was done with highlighting. But, I mean, can you really see? Look at the texture, you guys. This is just... I love it, and it's so worth it, you know, I said, after you face that fear and take the dive, I think it just adds so much. So, we're still not done, but the next thing, I think, is to, I was going to do a little spritz of um, some black acrylic ink spray over this but I really I don't think we need to I think it's fine and I don't want to risk like blotching it so I'm gonna leave it but we will be adding this back in and this kind of tucks under you know I let it be able to kind of sneak around underneath this stuff so I'll work with that a little bit I'm going to use my Aileen's tacky glue again to put this down as well as our boo um, and you can see, and I like that it's just subtle enough. And I did, um, I used the rub and buff on the outside of the letters. And to bring out the black, I just took a black Sharpie and colored in the letters there. So that'll just add a little bit of a touch. It's not as, you know, the other ones would have stuck out too much, I think. Don't you think? Or is that better? Oh, see, I go back and forth, back and forth. Maybe I do like that better. Hmm, that remains to be seen. Okay, and also, so we'll glue that down. <coughs> I'm going to glue a couple spiders down. Not sure where they're going to land yet. But I also, I pulled out this box I have of just bling and embellishments and, you know, sequiny kind of things. 
and I may place a few random um, pieces around and I also have and I don't think I'm going to use these but you never know I pulled out some of my beads uh, so I may just kind of hide some of those around too we'll see so this is the end stage of just adding the embellishments and when I get all that done I will come back and show you and then nothing else remains to be done except a coat of sealant so let me do some embellishing this part with the uh, adding these lusters and things probably took me a good two hours two and a half hours of just going back and forth with it um, yeah so just so you have an idea I'll be back Okay, you guys, what do you think? I never know when to stop, so I'm going to say stop right now and just kind of let this sink in. There is a lot going on here, and the longer I look at it, the more that I'm like, well, I don't know, and so I just need to walk away. But what do you think? I'm kind of in love with it one thing I would change if I could I would kind of wished I had balanced out more of these gears and cogs like throughout the piece uh, it's a little concentrated in one spot but you know really that's my only complaint if there is any and I did hide a little bling inside the book of shadows and just a few scattered all I really used were some uh, little tiny purple gemstones I don't even know if you can see them I put a few in the spiral and up on this flower here and there's one under the broom so not a lot and then the two spiders and the scrabble letters I kind of compromised I didn't use the ones that I spray painted I used the other ones and then I just went over them with some of this Tim Holtz distress stain I love this stuff it's in vintage photo and it just kind of adds a like a tea stain look to things and for some reason this middle O absorbed a lot more than the other two did but that's how it turned out so I am just going to put a coat of acrylic sealer on this and I'll show you what I'm using when when it's dry and I come back but we're gonna call this done and I really hope you enjoy this I had so much fun putting this together I love the fact that I was able to use so much Happy Mail that was sent to me by you guys. And the star focal point, my gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie. So when you are done checking out this video, I would love it if you would go check out her channel and check out all our links that I'm going to put in the description box below. But I'm not saying goodbye quite yet. I'm going to spray this, dry it, and show you how it looks when it's all done. So I'll be back when that's finished. Okay, this is nice and dry now. I gave it a nice coat of this Americana acrylic sealer in gloss. And the more I look at it, the more I'm loving it, you guys. What do you think? I hope I've inspired you this month. Make your own mixed media assemblage collage. Raid your junk drawer, your kid's toy box. See what you come up with. Uh, it's a great way to showcase a favorite piece of art or someone's picture. You know, you can really take these in any direction. And I've loved the direction this t has taken us. And thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me here today. Make sure you check out all the links below. Miss Rita and I would love to see you at our group on Facebook, The Gypsy and the Witch. We have a great group of people over there. We have a different theme each month. And we encourage you guys to join us. So please do that. And please have a blessed, safe holiday, no matter what you celebrate or not. I'm sending you much peace and love.